All right, welcome back to part four of our graphical user interface for our coin flip game. In this session, we are going to go ahead and uncomment our control panel and where it's added to our J panel. And then we're going to create a new class. And again, we're going to import a few packages. So we'll say import Java x.swing and import java.awt.asterisk and import java.awt.event. Let's say public class coin control extends jpanel. place for our fields, our constructor, and then we're going to have an internal class, which is going to be for our button listener. All right, so let's go up here and we're going to say private coin coin because we need to, the button needs to know um, or be able to see the coin object and interrelate with it. And we'll also need an instance of the panel. And we'll need a button, so we'll say private J button. And we'll just call it flip button. I just gonna abbreviate BTN. In our constructor, say public coin control. Now we're going to have to pass in coin panel. So we'll say coin panel, coin panel, and coin. Needs to be a parentheses. Open and close curly braces. So we'll say this dot coin panel is equal to coin panel, and we'll say this dot coin is equal to coin. And then we'll create an instance of the button. So we'll say flip btn is equal to new. J button and we wanted to say flip me and so we'll say flip button dot set tool tip text you've seen those before when you hover over them they give you hints or what it's supposed to be for so we'll say flip the coin. And then we'll say flip btn.addaction listener. And we'll create a new instance of button listener. And then we need to set the background of this panel to the color white also. And again, I just did white because the background of my coin is white. You can do any color you like that Java supports. And then we'll need to add the button to the panel. So we'll say flip button, pass that into our add method. Okay, and then we need an action listener, which is an internal class that's going to listen for the button. So we say private class button listener implements action listener. So it's an interface in this case that we're using. 
then we'll go ahead and put in our n comments. So n internal class and n class. Okay, so inside of our internal class, we are going to say public void action performed and we'll create an instance of action event and we'll say, just name the variable event and inside of this method we're going to flip the coin and then we're going to repaint the coin panel and that's it so we don't need these spaces here and I'll put one in there so let's compile let's, let's save first and we will call it coin control and then we'll go ahead and compile to see if we have any errors and this should be implements and we have no errors and so now we can try to run it and I have an error I need to solve so let me take a look at it and I'll be back with an answer. All right, so our mistake was that we had a curly brace here and when we didn't need one so we can get rid of that curly brace and let's compile it. Okay, and we also have an extra curly brace here. So now if we get rid of that one and we compile and then click on the runner we should get our coin game and we should be able to flip it and also see that it's printing out as or tails here and that's the it for how to use uh, images